Hi and welcome to Unity tutorial of how to add audio to your background. So what I'm going to do now is let's play it then you hear how it sounds. There we go guys. You can hear the background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight to Unity development environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Unity 3D tutorial of how to add an audio background to your game so I'm going to start by clicking on new and let's give our project a name I'm going to call that audio background make sure you select 3d and let's click on create now that unity development environment is ready the first thing I'd like to do is to import the sound I intend to use right here I'm going to click drag and drop it right there inside the project area and there we go my background sound is ready. This sound was officially developed by Joey Pecorero. There's a lot of his uh, work on YouTube for you guys who are interested in using his work. He's very good at what he, what he does. Okay, guys. Now, the next thing I want to do is, you see right up here where we have the hierarchy, I'm going to click on Create 3D and I'm going to select Plane. There we go. And that is my work area so let's go to the inspector so let's increase the size of that plane I'm going to make it 5 by 5 that's good just in case I intend to add any other thing to make it interesting now the next thing I want to do you see here where we have main camera I'm going to click inside create again and let's create an empty object this empty object I want it inside my main camera here Okay, there we go you see it right inside the main camera and now my music or the audio that is the audio there if you guys want to listen to it just click on open there we go and that's it okay I'm gonna close that I will now click and drag this very audio and paste it right inside my game object right there and that is it inside my game object Okay, since I now have it inside my game object, you guys can make any modification you want to it. But the only modification I'm going to be carrying out is going to be loop. I want you to loop around because it's for background. And the next one is let's reduce the volume a little bit. About that, that is fine. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is right in here, let's inside the project, let's click on and let's select script there now that the script is selected i'm going to give that a name maybe audio script there we go that's my audio script there and press enter make sure the script is selected then click on open okay now that the coding environment is ready so right underneath here we're going to enter public audio source and the name is going to be background audio so that is the name of my variable so now copy the background variable and come right down here you see where we have the void start I want to enter my audio in there so background audio dot play and right there enter parentheses and semicolon and the next thing is you see the update void update I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't need that anymore and that's my code taken care of so let's save it there and we now return to unity development environment right here now the next thing is I will grab my script click drag and let's drop it right inside the plane this very one okay so when we click on the plane now we should be able to see our audio source right here that is the background audio source that I declared my variable now it's now asking me where is the source of the music itself or the audio is right here if you click if you guys can still recollect okay now select plane and I'm now going to click and drag the game object and just dump it right in here there we go see the audio, audio source is now in place so when we click and run you will hear you should be able to hear the music now the background music 
I hear that guys but it's so boring so let's jazz it up a little bit okay to get it interesting a little bit I'm going to add some some trees on board so let's copy from here one of my previous project I have trees and then have maybe rabbit in there just drag it and drop it here straight into the project area okay I finished adding to the two files so I'm going to just close this there so now let's click inside the trees here yeah, the free trees click on that and right here those are the trees you can just add anyone it's just to make it look a bit much better instead of just plain white background okay so I'm gonna add a couple of those and now let's come back to the other imported prefabs here so let's look for maybe one or two rabbits grab that and just turn the rabbit right there and the rabbit will be dancing to the music yes yeah, so I'm gonna add a couple of those if you guys want these uh, assets you can always find them on the asset so store they are actually free alright so I will add a couple of those and just get back to you guys but before I leave let's change the background color yeah, let's come in here let it look like the tree texture let's see there we go you see that I've just dragged this one and drop it there and that is that is it guys I've finished adding all of my trees and so on and the rabbit you can see the three rabbit there that I've just added so what I'm going to do now is just run it and you guys see how it looks like okay you can see it properly so I'm going to stop it let's click on this and just collapse let's collapse all of these properties the hierarchy the project close the tab and close this other tab as well I'm going to close this tab this very one close it and then now let's run it and see how it's going to look like there we go look at that guys with a beautiful background tone from Joey Pacquerero and with that guys I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching bye for now